Physics 184, am I right? So, um, chapter 28 still, number 6, I'm mastering physics. Um, here's the answer if you guys are just here for that, but as always, I'm going to try to walk through the problem with you guys. Um, I barely understand it myself, but you know, I'm trying to reassure everybody, so just bear with me. Uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Um, we have a standard 100 watt, which is 120 volt light bulb, contains a 7 centimeter long tungsten filament. Um, the high temperature uh, resistivity of tungsten is 9.0 times 10 to 97 ohm uh, times meter. Um, there we give us the resistance, the resistivity of tungsten. So that's just going to be um, the resistivity. That's not R. Can I erase that? That's P. Okay, so if we know the resistivity, and that's um, ohm, you know, 1 ohm is also equal to 1 volt over amperage. Okay, that's why it's V over A times meter. I'm just, I just written, written down um, everything they gave us on um, power. That's power. Don't get this mixed up. P and P. I can't write down a P, okay? So don't get that mixed up. And then with a the volt and then the length, okay? I just converted 7 centimeters to meters, which is 7 e to the negative 3 divided by 100, right? So basically, we got, now we look at what we have and we just try to solve um, look at the equation that gives us the diameter, right? So I'm looking at my equation sheet that I made. Um, we all get to make it on for uh, quizzes. So I see that this equation, right, um, I is equal to A over PL times delta V, right? We have everything here, you know? And what? how are we going to get the diameter from this? We can get the diameter from finding the area, because the area is pi r squared. And if we find the radius, we just, we just have to multiply the radius by 2 to get the diameter. So let's go ahead and rearrange for A. So we're going to get... Um, what is A? Well, A, let's move, this is just going to be PL times I, PLI, divided by change in V, okay? So, um, how do we get I? You know, we have P, we have L, and this P is not the power, okay? This is the resist, res, that's the, um, resistivity, okay? Not the power. We have another equation, right? I is equal to the power, let's put the little r here, over volt, okay, so that gives amps, okay, because power is a watt, and watt over v gives a, okay, I guess these are the units, okay, don't, that's not like an equation, that's just the units, okay, that probably is an equation, but that's not area, okay, just forget about that, that's just units, so if we have these two equations, we can solve this, I'm pretty sure, so let's go ahead and solve for i first. So how do we get i? We do well, we have the power. That's just gonna be hundred watts divided by um, the v, which is one hundred and twenty volts. Now, how do the units cancel out to be amperage? Well, that's a that's a really good point because I have no idea what watts are in units live in. So we can go ahead and solve for v. So watt is actually volt times amps because looking at this unit right here. So we have 100 of volt times amps and divided by 120 volts as you guys can see we're only left with amps so 100 divided by 120 that's going to be 0 0.833 come repeating so amps okay that's i keep that to the side there so now let's solve for a so if we plug in the resistivity not the power the resistivity which is 9.0 no just do sign 9e um, to negative 7 volt per amperage times meter. The length is 7e to the negative 2 meter. Oops, that should go inside the parentheses. Really doesn't matter though. The i is just going to be 0 0.833 repeating amps. And we're going to divide by change in v which is just going to be 120 volts standard household wall outlet in the US and Canada, right? So the volts cancel, the amps cancel, and we're left with meter meter, which is meter squared, which is perfect to get area, right? So I'm going to go ahead and type this in the calculator. So 9e to the negative 7 times 7e to the negative 2 times this 0.833 repeating divided by 120. Well, that gives us a whopping. 
four point three seven five e to the negative ten meters squared. So we'll go ahead and divide this by pi and take a square of it because um, you know r equals pi r squared. So to solve for r, you just it's just a divided by pi and it's square root of that, right? So I'm what to, I'm just gonna do this in the calculator real quick. So if we divide by pi, take the square root of that, we get r is equal to 1.18e to negative 5 meters, because it took the square root, but we're going to multiply by 2 since we want diameter, right? So we will get 2.36 times 10 to negative 5 meters. That's the diameter of the, of the, of the filament, right? So. 2.4 and that's it. That's how you do this problem guys. Thanks.